Growing up, one of my favorite events was to go to the local air show. I was always in awe with planes like this T-28. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Billings with CCTV News You Can Use. You can come out and get up close and personal with a plane like this and many others. Here to tell us more about the 2016 International Air Show is Tyler Ezzi and Jamie Trudeau. Hi, thank you Hi. for joining us. Thank you for having so, me. So, tell me about this, uh, the air show. The air show is coming up October 21st, 22nd, 23rd here at the Punta Gorda Airport. Uh, we're going to have a lot of amazing events. Uh, the most uh, exciting event is Friday night. We're having a open to the public Friday night twilight spectacular. It's going to be aircraft, fireworks, an amazing evening for the family. So uh, tickets are on sale now. Uh, FloridaAirShow.com is where you can find all the information. Uh, what do you guys have lined up for Saturday and Sunday? Saturday and Sunday will be your normal air show uh, venue. Uh, we have a lot of really different things uh, that's new for 2016. We're bringing in a lot of local planes, local interesting planes that are right here on the airfield, right in the local area. Okay. And uh, Jamie Trudeau's here. He can speak a little bit more about that. Very good. Right. So, so tell me a little bit about the planes that you'll be able to see. Well, <clears throat> you'll be able to see um, these T-28s. There, there'll be quite a few here. T-6s, uh, Skymat, um, actually an O-2. It's uh, used in Vietnam uh, for a spotting plane. Uh, you're going to have uh, a bunch of other warbirds that are come in. You're going to have Nan Changs. You're going to have uh, Jim Tobel with his F4U Corsair and Scott Yoke with his P-51 Mustang. Gary Ward will be performing doing aerobatics. Uh, you're going to have a jet truck here. Um, there'll be other performers too. I'm sure I'm forgetting uh, someone. We're also going to have aircraft judging for all the different classes and we'll give trophies away. Uh, we just want to get the public excited uh, to rebuild this air show and it's coming along very good right now we've had a great response um, there's a lot of warbirds and other really nice airplanes in florida will there be rides can you go on a helicopter rides airplane there, rides there will be one gentleman giving helicopter rides and i believe one other gentleman that's going to do uh rides in his pits which is an aerobatic biplane which is really good now, have you gotten a, a good response from the community? This is an event that's for the family. I mean, you can, kids are interested. You're going to have things for people of all ages. Well, our community, without the community, wouldn't be able to do this. Uh, the county has stepped up. Uh, they're a presenting sponsor. The tourism department also is helping us out with marketing. Um, we've had great response trying to bring the air show back. So it's been really good. Our local businesses are stepping up with uh, sponsorships, and there are still sponsorships available. And without those sponsorships, we can't do what we do. So anyone out there that has a business that wants to get in front of 12 to 15,000 people per day, give us a call, floridaairshow.com, go to our website and check us out. Um, this is our 35th annual air show. We are all volunteer, it's all not for profit, and we've raised over three and a half million dollars for local charities since our inception. Tell me a little bit about the ticket prices for the different days and the parking. All right, so ticket prices, the Friday night event is uh, 15 in advance, 20 at the gate. Saturday and Sunday is 20 in advance, 25 at the gate. Parking is $10. We have plenty of parking, so it's not an issue. There will be shuttles that bring you into the gates. Uh, we have upgrades available. If you don't want to bring your lawn chair for $10, we have chairs available right on the show line. If you want to get out of the sun, uh, we have shade available. We have some areas. We have the 502nd Fighter Bomber Squadron, which is unique to the airport because that's the squadron that trained here in World War II. That is a craft beer, wine tasting, and uh, beer garden. So you can go in there, enjoy the shade, enjoy the show front line. And then we also have the Flight Deck Club, which will be an open bar and meals, and uh, all those are available on the website. Are people allowed to bring in things you said they could bring in chairs, can they bring in food, uh, what can they bring in? Well, they can bring in bottled water. We don't allow coolers for uh, security reasons, but bottled water is allowed and, um, you know, things of that nature. No umbrellas, you know, normal, normal event stuff, but lawn chairs are acceptable. Is there anything else you'd like the viewers to know about the air show? Yeah, this is going to be an amazing family event. There's going to be airplanes they can touch, sit inside of, uh, amazing aerobatic acts, and it is basically the spirit of you know what childhood is all about. So bring them out, and they'll enjoy it. It's way better than a day at the movies. Very good. Thank you for joining Thank us. You. So come out and get up close and personal with this majestic aircraft. I'm Elizabeth Billings, reporting for CCTV News You Can Use.